everybody, I'm Laura Trump coming to you from my home in New York. As the extremist Democrats continue to demean all that's good in our country, we must never let those who hate America replace America. Joining me is United States Representative from the 1st District of Florida, our friend Matt Gates. Matt, welcome to the show. Oh, thanks for having me, Laura. Well, you recently wrote uh, something that I, I think is so smart. You wrote that the radicalism we're seeing in cities all across this country is about making us hate America so we can replace America. Tell people what you meant by that. I think that the upcoming election really presents two different visions for our country. President Trump wants to see us return to optimism and greatness and invest in our people and our future unapologetically putting our country first. That banner of America first brought so many people together. And back in the last campaign when Hillary Clinton was being so negative, I think that that notion that we could achieve new heights for our nation and for our people really brought folks out and, and shocked the world. And I think now the president continues with that vision, but also with a record of having gotten it done in the past. And I, and I look over at what's happening in the political left and when they tear down our statues, when they demean our history, when they try to castigate uh, you know, Abraham Lincoln and Thomas Jefferson and George Washington as unworthy of our national praise, I don't think that's an end unto itself. I think that's a means to a broader end. I think that when you see these folks who are explicitly Marxists out there organizing, and I'm not talking about folks who have legitimate grievance. Of course, in America, we always invite peaceful protest. But when you see this effort to destroy and burn and riot, I think it's really an effort to try to make the rest of us love our country less. And so in, in our movement and in our campaign, I think we've got to be that great light of patriotism that invites people in no matter what their shape or size or color or creed or background or nation of origin. If you want to come to America and love our country, the Trump movement is for you. And, and guess what, Laura? It's the easiest case I will have ever had to make in the courtroom or in the halls of Congress. The greatest case we'll make is out to the people of our country that America is worth fighting for and loving with all we have. Oh, amen. You can say that again. And, and I, I love it. We welcome everyone to join us at the Trump campaign and the Republican Party. We are a party for every single person that loves this country. The flip side of this, Matt, is a guy named Joe Biden. Now, Joe has been hidden away for months and months on end now in his basement. They dragged him out the other day, although we haven't heard very much on him condemning the, the rioters, the looters, the arsonists, the people causing destruction in some of our great cities. He doesn't have much to say about those who wish to erase our history and destroy our institutions like you were just referencing. So is he with them or is he against them? What do you think about this? Well, this campaign presents the choice of strength versus weakness. President Trump has demonstrated the strength to put our country and our people first, to rebuild our military, to stand up for our veterans, and to invigorate our economy to the highest heights that we've certainly seen in my lifetime, and, and many would say throughout a substantial portion of American history. Joe Biden, on the other hand, is too weak to fend off the radical left. He cannot stand up to these people. He will totally be run by them. And like everyone in America knows this, right? I mean, everybody sees what's going on with Joe Biden. So. You know, he, he does not have the alertness, awareness or capability to lead a great nation. And what's so important about this is that these are serious times. Right. I mean, we still have to stand up to China. We still have to continue to build out on the Trump administration's work to make our nation more resilient if there's another pandemic. And we have to get an economy off its knees back, just absolutely marching forward again. And the president has already started to do that. So just like with the gravity of the challenges that America is facing, we need that strength. And, you know, uh, it was Alexander Hamilton who wrote about the need for energy in the executive. And whether folks like or dislike the president, there is no disputing he is the most energetic executive that we could possibly have at this moment in time. And with Joe Biden, I honestly think that his 2020 campaign looks less like a presidential run and sort of more like elder abuse at times. And, and, and I just I, I hope that 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 we're able to see as a country the need for serious uh, and and very optimistic leadership. And I think only President Trump provides that as a choice. 
Yeah, this is a very important election. And, and I know, Matt, we say that every four years, most important election, most important election. When you look at where we are in this country and you really look at the differences between Donald Trump and the America that he's built and the America he champions every day, giving everybody their shot at the American dream, keeping our country safe, uh, leveling the playing field with trade, making, um, making sure that America and Americans are taken care of first before we go out around the world. You contrast that with the destruction and the hate and the, the really just it's disgusting to see what has happened on the other side. So this is such an important election. I, I mean, truly, we might not have the same country and the same America that I grew up in, that you grew up in, for our children one day to grow up in if the wrong decision is made on November 3rd. And it seems to a lot of people that the only way to prevent the radicals from replacing America in the short term is the re-election of Donald Trump. What do you think? Well, I view it in terms of yeah, how our seniors evaluate the election and then how young people should. I'm from Florida where we cherish our seniors. They are a tremendous resource. And I think a lot of these folks who have put their heart and soul into America, into growing businesses, into being good citizens, they would hate to pass on a diminished country to the next generation. And so there's a real enthusiasm among our seniors to see President Trump win so we keep America, America, and so that we don't allow her to be taken down. And then for young people, we've seen a lot of challenges in our lifetime. You know, I remember leading up to like Y2K, there was a real a sense of, of, of dullness, like, oh no, Y2K could end the world. And then after that, we had 9-11, which drained our economy where we suffered these attacks and launched off into these wars. And then we graduated, a lot, a lot of us, you know, law school and MBA school in the Obama financial crisis and couldn't get jobs. And now finally, America is like, you know, got its mojo pack. America was, was roaring under President Trump's leadership. We were more focused in our international affairs. We were more productive. We were actually making things domestically. And money was coming from overseas back into our country and fueling the dreams and beliefs and aspirations of our people. And so now with, with young people facing this crazy coronavirus as a, a, an, an inhibitor to our children going to school, to our uh, jobs and careers having the opportunity to grow, we need that again. We need President Trump to rescue the, the sense of opportunity in America that for far too uh, many years in the lives of young people has been, been diminished by the Obama economy and then by some factors, frankly, that no politician could control. And so, you know, if we, if we want to build those strong families and strong careers and strong lives, we've got to rally to the president's cause and give him the tools to go and fight for us yet again. You got that right. Well, Congressman Matt Gates, it's always a pleasure to talk with you. Thank you so much for joining us. So, here Laura, today. wait, hold uh, on. I, I have to ask you a question because, like, oh. I get I get two questions all the time when I'm out on, on the trail. One is, you know, when are we going to, like, hold these people accountable who came after the president? And fortunately, I think with Attorney General Barr and, yeah. and uh, Mr. Durham, we're going to get the answer to that question. But one of the, the second question I get the most is, what is your workout routine? Women all over America want to oh, know how, yes, how you are <laughs> able to just, like, be this picture of health you had a you had a baby and then like i swear like right after that you like snapped back into perfect <laughs> form so what is the secret america's women want to know oh my gosh well i like that we're turning the tables here well i do triathlons many of them in your state of florida uh, whenever i i'm allowed and i i love to swim and run and bike and I, i'm honestly chasing around two kids now that i've been working from home for four months. So just whenever I would normally like kind of take a break, sit down to eat lunch, like in a normal day, I'm chasing after my kids or my dogs or somebody's running all over the place. And it's a little so crazy. Exercise, starvation, and parenting. Those are your, <laughs> those, those are your three secrets. Definitely not starvation. Life. I've been cooking a lot over, right. over COVID, but, uh, <laughs> but yeah, so that, that's all I can say. That's my trick at least. And it keeps me sane too, which is very positive, but uh, I hope you can uh, reiterate that for people that ask you. That's so funny. I will. Uh, now I've got the secret. We'll share it with You got it now. Well, thank you. As always, it's great to talk with you, and we hope that you'll come back soon, and maybe you'll have more questions for me then. I, po I probably will. I'll get them from <laughs> America, and, we'll, and then we'll have this great talk. Thanks, Laura. Perfect. Thanks, Matt. Joe Biden supports the radicalization of America, but Donald Trump will never allow them to replace America.
That's the real news for today. If you'd like to get involved with Team Trump, go to DonaldJTrump.com or download the official Trump 2020 app from the App Store or the Google Play Store. I'm Laura Trump coming to you from my home in New York. Thanks for joining us, everybody.